I'm 29 years old, a mother of a three-year-old, and I'm a personal trainer, server, and aspiring actress. Between all my jobs, I make around $60,000 a year, and I live in a two-bedroom apartment with my boyfriend and son in Long Beach, California. My rent is $2,700 a month, which I split evenly with my boyfriend. We also split utilities, which comes to an additional $170-ish a month. I moved to Southern California from Indianapolis six years ago to pursue acting, but my life was thrown a curveball. Just after a year and a half of living here, I became pregnant with my son. When you're responsible for another human, they become your number one priority. And my focus definitely shifted away from myself and to my son. Since then, I've been making ends meet working as both a personal trainer and a server. Being a freelancer, no two days are alike, but my day usually starts around 6.30 a.m. I try to be up 30 minutes before my son wakes up so I can go through my morning routine. I put my contacts in, brush my teeth, wash my face, get my clothes on. If I wake up at the same time as my son, we're late. <laughs> he definitely slows me down. I'm not big into spending money on my own clothes, but I do think it's important that my son is always well dressed. Since he's a growing three-year-old boy, I typically spend about $100 a month on him for clothes. At this point, he's almost entirely potty trained, so I only spend about $50 on pull-ups for him every month. Once I get my son dressed, I make us breakfast. He usually has a piece of toast with banana and avocado, and I'll have a protein shake with spinach and fruit. He usually eats a lot of the same food I eat, so it makes it pretty easy when buying groceries. I typically spend $100 a week on groceries for my boyfriend and I, and an additional $50 a week on food just for my son. He has to have his special items, his Honest Kids juice pouches, and he's obsessed with the pomegranate seeds from Trader Joe's. I swear he goes through three of those a week. I have to be at the gym in the morning to meet clients, so I send my son to preschool Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to noon, which costs $800 a month. I'll usually spend $100 a week on a babysitter as well, if both my boyfriend and I have to work at night. In total, I spend about $15.50 every month just on my son alone. In terms of my other monthlies, I pay $200 a month for my son and mine's health insurance. $100 a month for car insurance, and $140 a month for my cell phone bill. For memberships, I pay $125 a month for my gym, $100 a year for AAA, and $119 a year for Amazon Prime. After I drop my son off at preschool in the morning, I head to the gym for work. My boyfriend and I are both personal trainers, so we teamed up in 2015 to start our own business, and in 2017, we decided to purchase a lease on our very own gym space. Renovations began last December, and our gym was finally ready for clients by March of this year. Our gym rent comes to $2,200 a month. I personally cover $800, and my boyfriend covers the remaining $1,400, plus electric and cleaning fees, which is proportionate to how much we each make from the business. I spent $4,000 on gym equipment earlier this year, and my boyfriend spent $2,000. By the end of the year, I will have spent about $14,000 on gym-related expenses. I earned about $30,000 this year from personal training, so although my investments were significant, I still turned a net profit of almost $17,000 in the gym's first year. Personal training can be really great money, but like any non-9-to-5 job, it can be a little unpredictable. During the holiday season, gym goers tend to slack off a little bit, and then they come back in the new year ready to get back into action. Since I have my son to take care of, I can't afford to have a down period financially, so I supplement my income with a serving job. This year, I was actually surprised to learn that I earned $30,000 from my serving job, so the restaurant really has provided me with a nice cushion. I was able to pay off my student loans last year. I had about $6,000 worth, and I definitely couldn't have done it if I wasn't working two jobs. 
I also pay $300 a month in credit card debt. I dug myself into $15,000 worth of debt and I still have $8,500 more to pay off. I stopped making purchases on that card entirely and I have one other credit card that I use. I usually spend around $2,000 on that card every month and pay it all off at the end of the month. It took a few years, but I was able to bring my credit score up to the 700s, so it is possible to recover. Not easy, but possible. I actually feel like I'm in a better place financially than I've ever been. I earned more income this year than I ever have, and now that my son is old enough, I've been able to slowly shift focus back to myself and invest in my acting career again. This past year, I spent almost $3,000 on acting expenses, as I'm hoping to really move that part of my life forward. I was raised by a single mother who worked very hard to give me everything I wanted, and I want to do the same for my son. I want to be able to buy him better health insurance, pay for swim lessons. There are so many things he needs, and I want to be able to give it to him. If I can do that while also fulfilling my own career goals, that would be the ultimate.